Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about ALG, my project which I started almost two years ago. And now it has probably reached, well, not probably, it has reached its end of its life cycle. And I have decided to discontinue the project uh, in a more crude term as SourceForge states, abandon the project. Uh, so I will not be further developing it and uh, there will not be any new ISOs in the future. With that being said, I have released the final ISOs on the 19th on SourceForge and OSDN. And the reason for this release, even though I have decided to abandon the project or to discontinue it is because a lot of people are dependent on these ISOs on the project. Uh, in various ways, so an abrupt end, put, uh, an abrupt announcement uh, would wouldn't be fair to people who are daily driving with ALG or who are using it to base it off as their distribution. So a lot of people have, uh, or some people that I know of, uh, use ALG as a base for their distribution, which which was one of the use cases of ALG. So they should have some time so that they can migrate their daily drivers or migrate their projects uh, to, I don't know like to their independent sources to another distribution uh, that's that so that's why this release is there uh, I'll talk about why uh, I have decided to do this but mainly I just want to inform you that this project is not it's no longer going to be further developed and uh, this is probably the last time you are seeing this website. Uh, one thing for sure is that the URL is going to go. And I'm not sure if I should keep the page live. Tell me in the comment section if I should keep the website live because it's hosted on GitHub anyways. So uh, you can still see the page with github.io, but uh, it's a bit problematic and we'll talk about that. So the reason I decided to discontinue is because I was under this tremendous pressure to uh, rename the project and uh, because it was violating the parent project Arch Linux uh, trademark. And I do not want to break any rules, especially legal legal terms and all of that stuff. I don't understand that. So uh, that's basically it. I asked for permission to the Arch Linux team if I, if I could use this name. They said no. And uh, renaming it to anything else I believe would just uh, change the whole purpose of ALG which was to be able to provide a fast offline graphical installer for Arch Linux and uh, if I do want to build a distribution uh, I would probably not uh, convert ALG into a distribution I would do it from scratch so that's the reason why uh, the, like the, it's been two years since I've been doing this right almost two years like 20 months I believe now so doing any significant changes here is it, it, it's not possible i believe from like an infrastructure point of view and as a code point like when you have a code that has been for some time around uh turning it into something else uh, to serve a different purpose i think just doesn't make sense and uh i okay i don't want to say this but i have been under this severe mental pressure to you know uh, a lot of people like still do not have a very good opinion about having a graphical installer for Arch Linux. So uh, they did, uh, uh, you know. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, a graphical installer for Arch Linux is probably a bad idea for a lot of folks out there. Uh, I I can't emphasize how much uh, a lot of people came and supported the project. Uh, and the reason why I kept doing this uh, is because you guys really on the YouTube channel, on the Discord server, on the Telegram group uh, always came and made nice comments which made me keep going. Uh, I did this for free. Uh, there was no funding. And uh, in fact, I put my own pocket money in it. Uh, in fact, the YouTube monetization money that I get from this channel was also put into buying new hardware and stuff like that. So in fact, uh, I wasn't earning anything out of this and despite that uh, the tremendous amount of mental pressure that I, I am in or I was in now that it's 
going to be over uh, soon. Uh, uh, it was a bit of a stretch for me. So I've just decided to now take a break and obviously uh, abide by what abide by the trademark and uh, I'll change the video here probably if this uh, website is to be on GitHub and uh, talking about the source code I'll try to keep it as it is all of the source code will be archived now and uh, how this can help you is I will release a follow-up video here on YouTube on how you can build these ISOs what the workflow was uh, and stuff like that so that if you do not want to like ma migrate from ALG or you still want to use ALG uh, in some form uh, you can build these ISOs for your personal self. Uh, I know some people on the telegram group who used to build their own ISOs so the source code is going to be there and uh, it should work for a couple of months but you know the rolling release nature of Arch Linux things change and uh, obviously uh, everything that is here is not going to last forever or it's not going to work forever right so so now i'm just going to uh, quickly talk about what i am going to be doing for the next couple of months or whatever uh, now that i have a big big i wouldn't say a burden but a big big project off my shoulders now uh, so i have decided to like obviously take a break but apart from that, I want to spend some time and on creating videos, creating content here on the YouTube channel because ALG was one of the reasons why I wasn't able to f upload frequently on this channel. Uh, and that's what I want to be able to be doing uh, from now on is to be more regular here because uh, I really want to thank all of the guys and girls who have uh, subscribed to my channel. And uh, I want to commit to this family. It's not a big one but uh, it's pretty significant to me because of all of the comments i get and all of the support you guys have given me in the past so that's pretty much it i'll follow up with uh, how to build isos video and uh, that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a nice day